we are back, and my leg is still shattered, which is not a surprise. I actually looked it up before I even recorded. But yeah, I need morphine, and I don't have any, and this sucks. So I'm crippled. Still crippled. Crippled Craig, continuing his trek across the land. And I really hope that morphine has spawned inside of here, or else this sucks. Uh, once again, my guy's food and st my, his uh, water and food are fine. Legitimately surprised. I, I guess that they patched that out. Uh, I wish I could take those painkillers, but I don't really have anything I want to give. Up. What about my backpack? Is there anything in my backpack I don't give a shit about? No, I'd like to you know, actually look at my backpack, please. Thanks. Okay. All right. I actually do have a little room. I'm gonna take another thing of painkillers. I'm gonna drop this shotgun ammo because I can't see myself needing it. And I don't know. I'll take another Coke. You know what? Coke. I live in New York. We drink Coke here. Uh, but this sucks, man. I still don't have... My leg is still broken. And I'm still screwed. So I'm going to search this barn again and pray that there's morphine. There's just morphine everywhere. Stockpiles of morphine in this barn. Maybe it's in the cow shit. I will go and look inside the cow shit finds morphine. Maybe that's a little weird, but I'll do it. I'm a desperate man. This is a desperate situation. Ah, oh, man. You know what? Doesn't matter, man. D you know what? It doesn't. Come on. Get off the stairs. Get, get off the stairs. Doesn't matter, man. I, if I have to run all the way around this country or if I have to crawl, I ain't going out like no bitch. I am going to fight for my right to party with the undead. You heard. You, you heard. I'm white. I apologize. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Let there be morphine. Come on. Come on, throw me a bone. I s I've, oh, ooh, what is this? It's another end field. But you know what? That's a lot of ammo. Ammo that I don't want to pass up. So, fuck you, Firewinds. Fuck. Fuck. Fire. I can't talk! Wire fencing kit. God damn it. I apologize in advance. I am tired. My leg's broken. Not a good day. Fuck the heat pack. I don't think I've ever needed a heat pack. So I, I am. I'm swimming in Enfield rounds. Ugh. Uh, Enfield, do I? All right, I got like 40 shots with the Enfield. Or actually, let me check one of those clips. Okay, they all seem full. So yeah, yeah, it's going great. <laughs> this episode will contain more crawling. I cut, I, I cut like I don't know, eight, seven, eight minutes of crawling out of the last episode, just cause. But not this time. This time, god damn it! This time we are going straight up, crawling marathon. We're gonna crawl all day long, and you're gonna love it. Right, search up here again. Let's crawl shimmy up these stairs. Let's defy physics. Okay, we got empty whiskey, bo uh, whiskey bottle. I can't talk. Hold on, I gotta get a drink of water. I can't speak. I do apologize. I'm not totally awake yet, and uh, I didn't have any caffeine. I did not have any tea this morning, because tea is delicious. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh, please let that be something. No, please. I beg of thee. <laughs> Give me a fucking one morphine shot, just one. At this rate, I said last episode that I would like, you know, play episode five in the dark. That's not gonna happen if I can't stand up. Get off the freaking stairs. I am not in the mood. Uh, all right, I gotta change the direct communication. Done. All right. So let's continue to crawl. Scuff up my jeans and nice undershirt. Grass stains. And other nasty things. Let's search, is that, can I go in there? Alright, let's search this shed real quick. 
And then we're going to research that uh, little uh, log building over there that I went in last time. Praying that the game has given me a, a chance here and spawned me some morphine. But knowing my luck, nope. Not a thing. <laughs> God damn it. Eh. Please. Please. More bullshit. God damn it. I hear zombies. I think I hear zombies. Do I hear zombies or am I crazy? Oh no, I definitely hear low growling. Alright, I gotta look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at the situation with an optimistic eye, okay? Yes, I have to crawl everywhere and that kind of stuff, but that also means that I'm stealthy as hell at all times. That means that no one's gonna mess with me, because they won't see me. So I'm just crawling through the underbrush. And if they do see me, maybe I can play it off. Maybe I can be like, oh no, help me, let's be friends and work together. And uh, you don't kill me, and I won't kill you. I, I kind of want a Mexican standoff to happen. Well, actually, you need three people for a Mexican standoff. I kind of want just a standoff to happen. Like I encounter a survivor, and we both just have rifles trained on each other, and we don't trust each other. And I'm laying in the grass, injured, making myself a smaller target. Go inside. Don't do. Go inside the fucking house. You stupid game. Stop. Stop it! Let me inside the house! Please! Just let me inside the house! You ass! Let me inside! Come on! You can do it! There you go! Physics. Pepsi. More guns I don't think I... Or not guns, but more ammo I don't think I need. No. Can I just drink Pepsi here? No, I can't. Why would I be able to? Fuck, fuck. More chem lights, which I keep ignoring, but I almost guarantee I'm going to regret that decision if I ever do a nighttime episode, if I survive that long. Okay, now just get out of the house. Can you get out of the house without a problem? Come on. Come on. You can do it. Shimmy. Barrel roll. You can do it. Get out. Get out of the house. There you go. Good job, buddy. You deserve a cookie. Or a shot of morphine, actually. That should be your reward. Okay, now, last episode, I I diverted this way because it was closer, but there is still the white structure in the distance, and then there is another building over there, way in the distance, back where I came from. So, whoa! Shit, fuck. Let's go around. Not in the mood to fight, guys. I am not in any condition to fight. Do you pick on the handicapped in your spare time, you undead piece of shit? Huh? You go to the special ed bus and throw rocks at it? You jerk. So leave me alone. So I'm going to go to that white structure. <laughs> and pray. Continue to pray. I'm not a holy man. But I will continue to pray. I'm not Tom Hanks. I'm not Pardue. Does anybody get that reference? If anyone can tell me what movie... Or what, re what shitty movie I am referencing when I say Tom Hanks and Pardue... I will not do anything, but you can feel good about yourself. Do it. Uh, okay, that's... I don't even know what that is. It seems like a long... Maybe a stable? Something like that? I'm in farm country. I'm going to try and keep these episodes a little shorter. The reason I shortened the last episode and cut out some minutes is because, one, it was crawling. But, two, it's because it was 45 minutes. <laughs> with majority of it being crawling. So I felt that was too long. So unlike other times, I got a timer set up. So when I, I know, I know when the time is to stop. <sighs> that means you guys are gonna watch me crawl and look at power lines and then crawl in first person and have that end field distractingly keep coming into my field of vision. Hey buddy, what's going on? What's going on, Mr. Enfield? What is your take on the situation? Oh right, nothing, because you're an inanimate object. <sighs> I've seen some people uh, in the comments be like, Hey, why don't you play with more survivors? 
I join, I specifically join servers that have almost full capacity. So at any given time, there's like 45 to, f to 50 people on this server, which is, I think, the max. Unless you, you know, screw with the server settings. But I've just been, uh, I, I would call myself lucky, but some people would call me unlucky for not running into survivors. In a way, I don't want to, because I don't want to, uh... I, I don't want to die, because survivors are trigger-happy. AI, you can manipulate. People... A lot of them just shoot first. And especially if you're injured and you show that you have supplies. Like, I have an Enfield on my back. If anyone looks at me, they know I have stuff. So... If you see a guy with a broken leg and you know he has supplies, you probably are going to shoot him and take his stuff. At least that's my fear. And I don't want that to happen. I'd like to keep the series going. At least for a little while. I'm surprised it's lasted as long as it has. This is probably my longest, um... This is the longest I've ever survived. Even playing by myself. And that, uh, that's cool. But on the other hand, I would, like, it would be really cool to find Survivor and team up with him. Like... George was very short-lived, but god damn it, it was something. I felt a bond. We connected, and then he sprinted at the zombie hordes like John Elway, and that did not work out at all, so I had to abandon him. I really need a friend to play this game with. Hey, Dan, if you're watching this, because I know you're a piece of shit and you don't watch my videos as, as often as you claim you do, um, get a better computer, man. You have a job, so save up. Save up, buddy. Get a, get a rig, get some daisy, and then we can survive. It'd be really nice, and I'm sure people would like the camaraderie. Alright. Got a small building here, and it looks like I can go in that building in the distance, although there's a fence. My one true foe, so I have to go around. I wonder if there's a way to cut through fences. Probably not. The environment is not super interactive, aside from some doors you can close. Oh. Okay. Thought I saw something on top of that water tower, but thankfully I did not. Please. Uh, let me stand up a bit. What do we got here? Bandages, I don't need. I've got a shit ton of Lee uh, Enfield ammo. I don't really need a ton right now. Uh, nothing here that's really of use to me. Son of a bitch. Alright. Let's search the stable. Let's hope that someone was shooting up horses. Anybody around? Specifically somebody with morphine? Looking for a friend, not looking for trouble. I hope you guys like the whole direct communication thing, that I'm not using the chat to speak to someone on the other side of the country. I fig I made that as a little rule for myself, that I would only talk to people who were in my immediate vicinity. Though I have been... Ch well, not cheating, I've been reading the chat a little bit, but not paying a whole lot of attention to it. I've mainly just commented on stupid shit. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Probably nothing, because everyone hates me. Oh, great. <laughs> Found an empty hallway. Let's go over here. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, another hatchet. Can I just can I just chop off my leg? It's not any use to me. What is this? Winchester. Is the Winchester better? Because I don't know. You know what? Because I don't know, I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to drop the Enfield and take the Winchester. And what type of slugs are these? I don't know. I might have to go back to that little... I hope I just made a good decision, guys. I don't know. Uh, I had a lot more ammo for my Winchester, but... Or for my uh, Enfield, rather. But this looks good. Seems like a nice gun. If you want to tell me that I'm stupid, then go ahead, but I can't change my mind now. I'm going for variety here, because I, uh, 
I'm by myself. I can't exactly ask. Wow, this is a long stable that I have to crawl through with nothing in it. You know what? Um, I'm going to go back to that building. And I'm going to grab that ammo because I'm pretty sure it was a uh, Winchester ammo. What uh, type of ammo does a Winchester even take? 15 round slugs. Okay. It's Winchester... It's Winchester's a rifle, isn't it? Because a slug, that seems like a shotgun thing. Although, I'm, I I might be ridiculously stupid. Like, I know that rifles take slugs. I don't, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Someone can tell me. But I don't know. Hmm. Okay, let's go and get those rounds, because I'm pretty sure that those were Winchester rounds that I uh, walked by. And since I'm willing to drop all that Enfield ammo, may as well. Someone's gonna. Someone in the chat is going to tell me I am a complete idiot for making that choice, guaranteed. Because I don't know. I'm sure they're both fine weapons, and I'm not gonna ask the chat because the chat is a lie, <laughs> as Sebastian says in the chat. <laughs> what is this? What? Did I miss? What? What was that? What the, what is that? What's happening? My blood is why am I bleeding? What did I do? What happened? Why am I bleeding? Why am I bleeding? I am kind of terrified. What just happened? Why did I just start bleeding out? Did someone shoot me, or did I... What happened? Or is that just something that comes with your bone being broken? I don't know what that little symbol means above the bone. I, I've seen it before, but I usually have seen it when I'm about to die. I... I am very... I am super worried right now. What the fuck does that mean? I'm so f I'm freaking out, man. This is not cool. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. The fun just went away. Uh, okay. That is not an appropriate slug. Shit. That was a waste of time then. So I do. Do I have room for like another? Because I just used a bandage, take this bandage. What just happened? Is anybody around? Have curiosity? Not looking for any trouble. Did like I'm just crawling and trying to live life. Just trying to survive. I don't. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. What? Someone needs to explain to me what happened. Why did I just lose, like, uh, 1,500 blood? Why did I start bleeding? You know what? I'm going to break my rule. Um, hey, is there a reason I'd just start bleeding for no reason? Wasn't hit or anything. Just started, and a weird symbol appeared on the right. Thanks. All right. Please, someone answer me. I feel like a piece of shit for using the chat, even though, like, I don't know, what, five minutes ago I said I wouldn't use the chat, but I'm a desperate man. Are people forming alliances in the chat? No, one's an no one saw my question. It was too long. All right, hold on. Let me... Is there... 
a reason my guy would start bleeding randomly. Come on, chat. Help me out, guys. Because he's a pussy? Fuck you. Uh... Appeared. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. I did. And a symbol appeared on the right. Okay, let's switch back to direct. I will not use chat. If they don't answer the question, then I'm out of luck and someone will have to tell me. Because what the hell. Everyone's just gonna ignore me, huh? I'm just gonna crawl through the stable, scared and alone, and nobody is gonna answer my goddamn question. Like, is there a reason my guy would start bleeding randomly? No. Someone said fall damage, and I'm considering maybe the game glitched, like when I was going through the door, it screwed up with my body, and, and it interpreted it as fall damage. That's the only explanation that I can think of. I think that makes sense, given the game's buggy nature. Hope so, anyway. Because that freaked me out. The symbol's gone. I'm a good bandit? Yeah, okay. It's an oxymoron if I've ever heard one. Hello? Is anyone around? Guess not. Uh, I got more cans. Whiskey bottles. This is all garbage, right? In front of, oh, oh, please, please. Please be something useful. Please, I beg of you. What? Oh, well, I didn't mean to switch to my gun. No, stand up. <sighs> you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna take a camel light. Cause I have the room. Oh, oh, okay, I will take another M1. 911 magazine. Keep crawling. Uh, I would not mind teaming up with somebody. But I'm already into this this little survival adventure alone. So I wouldn't bring like a friend in in the middle of this. I would uh, I would just find someone to help me like every episode. Damn it. Oh yeah, um, I mentioned that I thought, I, I don't remember what it was, episode 2 or 3, I mentioned that like, bell, like a church bell being used to attract zombies reminded me of something, but I couldn't pinpoint what. Left 4 Dead. Someone pointed out that that happened in I think Left 4 Dead 2, may, uh, may, might have been 1, whatever, it was one of the Left 4 Dead games, I forgot who said that. But pat yourself on the back, buddy, because you nailed it. That's exactly what I was thinking of. I just couldn't, I just couldn't pinpoint it. All right. Well, I've searched this area. I've crawled through the underbrush and come up with a new gun. Which, okay. I hopefully it's a better gun than I had, and I'm not really stupid. Where is the airfield? Everyone keeps talking about the airfield and comments on the airfield and the chats talk about the airfield. Everyone says the airfield is great. Where the fuck is the airfield? I don't have a map. I don't know this place. Is that a... That's a road, not a building. Huh. There was another building over there. I just can't see it anymore. Hmm. Hmm. I need a destination. Because I'm going to be crawling a while. 
<laughs> what I wouldn't give. What I would not give for a friend with some morphine. Help me. I just need some morphine. I'll suck your dick for some morphine, swear to god. Please, just need some morphine. I just... I just, uh, went into my inner Dave Chappelle there. It's gonna be an amazing event. When I can stand up again. When I can walk again. Someone, maybe, maybe a guy will run up to me, put his hand on my forehead, and I'll convulse and fall on the ground, and I'll be like, I'm saved, I've been, my leg is healed, I can walk again. And then I'll walk again. Then I'll sprint. And everything will be good. The other thing is, it sunk my heart. I saw people, I asked people, like, hey, will your leg heal over time, or do you need to find morphine? And the guy who responded said, Sorry, you're gonna have to find morphine. I've been crawling for four days. <laughs> ah, and that's gonna be me. Is that like a car that I can use? Or is that just a broke? Yeah, it's a broken down pe- I think it's broken. No harm in trying, right? I'm gonna look in the car. Or look at the car, see if there's anything worth a damn. And if there's not, I will crawl up into the forest to hide, and I'll call it. And the next episode will not be nighttime, as I hoped. It will instead be more crawling. Because as long as my leg is broken, I want to be out in the sun. Imagine if this car worked. It's not going to, but imagine if it did. Imagine if I could just get in there, put my broken foot on the gas, and yeah, the back wheel's missing, so that's nothing. That's great. Why am I even disappointed? Like, I knew. I knew from second one that's how it was going to go. Uh, I'm going to crawl. going to keep on crawling. Is that a thing? Nope, just... Ah, sun to the tree line. God damn it. Guys, I am so disillusioned right now. There's only so long you can crawl before you just want to put a Winchester in your mouth. Is there a... One. One. You used to start out with morphine. I didn't think it was that super crazy uncommon. Maybe it's not. Maybe I am just incredibly unlucky. Uh, wait, is there really more New World Order or NWO record, uh, recruiting going on? Last episode I saw them, and now it's this episode. What the hell? Do I just keep joining the same server, actually? Does, act, or am I just unlucky? Or lucky? I don't know. I got nothing against them, New World Order guys. I would, I will join the NWO. <laughs> If you have morphine, I will do whatever you- I will get your coffee, I will shine your shoes, I will take your laundry to the dry cleaners, I'll do whatever you want, just give me some goddamn morphine. Should I head back toward the city? No. That'd be unwise. Oh wait, hold on, there are obligations to joining the NWO. You can't think of it as free benefits. So what what I got what's got what's a guy gotta do, man? 
Does he have to TP the teacher's house? What does he gotta do? Does he have to let the other guys beat the shit out of him? Apparently they're not gonna elaborate. Whatever. <sighs> Honestly, I can say this is not how I expected this uh, survival series to go. I expected to run into the countryside and make some friends, maybe battle hordes of the undead, but instead, I'm left to crawl. Is there even a structure I can run into? How far have I gone? That's respectable. I was just in that stable. That's pretty good. I'd like a place... I'd like an actual building to hunker down in as opposed to just laying out in the woods. It's not like it really matters. It's just principle. Mm-hmm. I'm making mouth noises. What of it? What are you gonna do about it? You gonna break my legs? Cause it's already done. God damn, man. I just have to keep crawling and hope. You know what? This seems like a good spot. I'm just gonna lay down in the shade of this here tree. And, uh,. And this is my, uh, this is my safe haven for, for now. I'm gonna bask here, get out of the sun, close my eyes, and drift off to sleep, thinking of a time when I had legs. <laughs>